First, let me explain the difference between planned, approved, and registered courses. A planned course has been added to your course plan and will say planned in yellow. You cannot register for a course that is planned but not approved. An approved course means that your advisor has given you permission to register for the course. It will change to say approved in green with a thumbs up. A registered course means you are enrolled in the course. It will now say registered in green. It could also say registered but not started prior to the semester starting. Now that your courses have been planned, you need approval from your advisor before completing your registration. You need to request your advisor's approval by clicking on Advising. Here you can compose a note to send along with your request. Let your advisor know that you created your schedule for the upcoming semester and would like their approval on your courses. Now select Request Review. Here you see Last Review Requested and the date. The advisor will not receive a notification, so it is important to follow up with an email from your Holy Family email address. Let them know that you submitted a request for a review in student planning. This way they can approve your courses in a timely manner. Now it says course plan last reviewed, the date and who reviewed the request. Let's go back over to our schedule. We now see that your courses have been approved. We know this because it shows a green thumbs up and says approved. If we scroll down, we'll see that all the courses have been approved. It is your responsibility to return to student planning on the correct date of registration. When you're logging in in your day of registration, you want to find your schedule and up on the right, see the button Register Now. It is important to understand the difference between clicking Register Now and clicking the Register button listed under the course. Register Now will register you for all the courses listed on your course plan with sections appearing on the calendar. The register button listed underneath the course will only register you in this specific course. It is important to click register now to enroll in all the courses at once. Let's click register now. Underneath the course it will now say registered. Now you've also gone from planned 12 credits to enrolled in 12 credits and the courses on your calendar have now turned green. It is important to enroll in the correct amount of credits. For undergraduate students, 12 to 18 credits is considered full-time. Anything less than 12 is part-time. This can affect your financial aid if you are expected to be full-time but enroll in less than 12 credits. Graduate students are full-time with 6 credits. Anything less than 6 credits is considered part-time during a traditional term. Remember to have the correct date and register for classes as soon as possible. If you wait too long, the sections can fill up and then you run into the issue of needing to pick all new courses. In this instance, you can end up with a less favorable schedule. Find out the date early and set yourself reminders. And now you know how to register for classes. In the next video, we'll talk about how to drop and add courses to your schedule. What did we learn? After your schedule is complete, you need approval from your advisor. Request review can be found under advising. Always follow up with an email to your advisor. Once your courses are approved, it is your responsibility to register for classes. Be sure to click register now to enroll in all of your planned courses that have been approved. Set a reminder for your appropriate registration date.